Hi YouTube, it's Taylor today. I went to the movies today and I saw the Lego movie. It was really good. I don't have any kids, but I still really loved it. It releases on February 7th and I say go see it. Warner Animation Group did a great job. I mean, there was, it was appropriate for little kids and still interesting for adults. It's a cultural satire making fun of how we all fall for the media and we follow it blindly and we let it kind of rule our lives. Um, I laughed through the whole thing. It was really a funny movie. There's a scene where it says we go and pay for overpriced coffee and we think it's awesome. Uh, the theme song of the movie goes like, Everything is awesome. It's like throughout the whole entire movie and you leave seeing that movie. It's hilarious. And there, there's nothing in the movie that is embarrassing. It's completely clean. Um, nothing is too scary for children. It was really well done. The animation was great. It was believable even though it was magic, you know, I mean, obviously Legos don't really come to life, but the way they put everything together, it was believable. I was impressed. And the storyline was fun and interesting, you know, it was like an underdog story, the common man um, finds himself and becomes the hero, and it's really cute. Well played, really well done by the Lego people. Legos are such a great toy. I mean, they really do build minds and build creativity. And, you know, a lot of them are going to be future engineers and builders and things. So it really helps develop motor skills and everything. I really like Legos. Of course, they have their Legoland um, hotel now in Carlsbad, California. And... It's just an enterprise, and they're doing a great job. Um, what else can I tell you? It's a, it's a full, you know, full star cast. We have Will Arnett in there playing Batman. There's lots of um, uh, DC Comics in there. Elizabeth Banks plays the heroine called Wild Style, and there is uh, who else? Oh, Will Ferrell plays the the bad guy. This is Emmett, the main character in the movie. He's our underdog. He's the st it's a story of a nobody who is this guy, Emmett, and who he and he saves everybody. And this is just a little thing they gave out at the advanced screening today that you could put on your 3D um, glasses. I don't really recommend seeing it in 3D. I didn't think there was anything super special in 3D, so just save your money unless you are one of those people who has to see everything in 3D. I don't know, they must have had psychologists figure out how to do everything because they know people nowadays have such a short attention span and they just had something for everybody in there. Like a Unikitty and they had DC Comics and Great transition in between all the different Lego land worlds that they have. I want to go out and buy some Legos now. Here's a picture. Just to give you a quick rundown of the movie uh, characters. This guy, prophet of the movie, his name is uh, Vesuvius. And that's me, of course, in the middle of being silly. That's this weird 80s space guy. That's from the 80s. He's really funny. This is good cop, bad cop. His face like flips around. So he's good cop and bad cop. And he's the main b bad person who ordered business. Uh, or president business. Of course that's Wonder Woman. I don't even know why she's there. I guess just because she's Wonder Woman. Uh, she didn't really have a big role. Batman was in there. He had a pretty big role. That's our main character, Emmett. And this is Wild Style who is the, the main girl character. Um, and then there's also this really cute unikitty. She's a kitty cat with a unicorn, with a horn in the, minute, in the middle, so she's a combination unicorn kitty. But there's not a picture of her, so you just have to go see the movie to see her.
Unless you're a person who just hates Legos and happy things, then you're gonna like this movie. It's really cute. So take the whole family to see it, old and young and in between. Everybody is gonna laugh. Uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.